fast. <laughs> you remind me of a very big baby elephant. <laughs> this is seriously not funny, honey. Ah, sweetheart, it was only a joke. I was only joking. Come on, don't take it too personal, okay? <laughs> don't be serious. That way you're funny in your face. Huh? Anyway, I I'm sure your gym instructor is actually walking you out in the gym. You know, you know how I like it when you're slim. Can take you left, right, and center. You know what I mean? She was just reacting out of a jealous rage. I don't know how it is. All I know is that your stupid girl has just been doing much more than she can chew. Like seriously, Mopey? Seriously! Wait a minute. What were you expecting? That I overlook the humiliation and move on like nothing? Babe, hmm. I never knew exercise and workout could be this painful. Though. All my bones are aching the hell out of me. So, well, you know what they say no pain, no gain. Now, that's the price you have to pay to get back your shape. Well, I am more determined now than ever to get my figure back, Linda. Hmm. And why is that, if I may ask? Hey, last night, Daniel called me a baby elephant. What? It must have seemed to him like a joke, but it's actually stung that I must have really changed in Daniel's eyes. I don't believe this. Now listen, girlfriend. You are not anywhere near a baby elephant. Besides, there are one million men out there who will give up everything just to be with curvy and round ladies like you rather than skinny. Yes, Daniel prefers them skinny. So I have decided to commit to this weight loss thingy. <laughs> Babe, I must be skinny by fire by thunder. <laughs> Anyways, thank God for the massages Rough Rider gives to me after each training. I mean, it helps to ease the aches and pain. Did I just hear you say massage? Yes. Yes. Hold on a second. <laughs> Rose, like... Like you lie down and allow Mr. Rough Rider run those sexy hands of his through your body and... Eh, 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 and not in Linda. Eh, eh. My goodness, the dirtiness in your mind calls for spiritual sanitation. Believe me. Spiritual sanitation indeed. With the way you're going about this thing, I'm telling you, you are slowly calling for trouble. Before you know what's happening, you'll be sleeping with that hog. Trust me. Never. I mean, hell no. Not in this life. I rest my case. Okay didn't really mean to hurt you. She was just reacting out of a jealous rage. Well, P, you know how this thing is I going. don't know how it is. All I know is that your stupid girlfriend has just bitten off much more than she can chew and I will make her pay. What? Like seriously, Mom? Seriously? Wait a minute. What were you expecting? That I overlooked the humiliation and move on like nothing happened? 
boy, come on. That's not how I do my thing. I see. What are you planning to do, Mama P? Tell me. What exactly do you intend to do to my fiance? <laughs> Unfortunately, that little piece of information is not for your consumption. You just wait and see. Mama P, I warn you. Do not dare. Don't you dare lay a finger on that woman. Because if anything happens to her, you have me to contend with. Did you shut your mouth? You. After all I've done for you, you stand before me and take sides with that stupid, immature girl. You're actually a bigger fool than I thought. Yeah. Call me whatever name you wish. But do not say I haven't warned you. And guess what? This bigger fool can ruin your entire life because of that little immature girl. Are you threatening me? It's more than a threat. Get out of my house. Assimilate that. Get out of my house. Now! What does that mean? What do you want? Can you at least sit, please? <sighs> I know I'm not the... I know I'm not your most favorite person in the world right now. And I'm probably the last person you want to see. But um, thanks for coming anyway. So tell me. How is Indy? How is she doing? How, how do you expect? I know I heard her. I heard her bad. You don't know. You don't know anything. You did not only hurt this girl. You callously ripped her heart out. You threw it on the floor for your sugar mommy to trample on. Do you know this is the worst betrayer ever? Do you know that? Yes, I didn't mean to. My mama P, she, 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 she's just, you know, a means to an end. There's nothing more to it. And besides, why do you act like I'm the first guy to ever cheat on this girl? These things happen every day, everywhere, okay? And I'm a man. I'm weak. A man are prone to, to, to cheat every once in a while. Oh yeah? Bravo. Poor Friday is like every other man that hides behind his weaknesses and... Why are you at it? Why didn't you find it in competition for Ogi? What did you have to do with that over hey, hey, hey. I didn't invite you here to ban any salt on me, so... So why did you invite me? To warn her. Won her? Yes, won her. For what exactly? Let me tell you. The woman she harassed is a very powerful woman. Okay. That's Mama P. And nobody messes with Mama P. Okay? She's threatened to take a revenge on Ogi. Now, I don't know what she's planning, but it's not going to be nice. So tell her to be careful. That old hag has no shame. No shame at all. But you know this is your fault, Abby. You know, right? Now, if anything ever happens to my friend, if anything ever happens to Oge, you'll be held responsible for it. Yes, hello, Oge. A lot is up. Where are you? We need to talk. I'm on my way out. In fact, I'm just coming out of my building. Why? Uh, are you okay? You sound worried. Well, I spoke to Rough Rider and he asked me to warn you about something. So, Ella, please, okay? I am not interested in any rubbish Rough Rider has to say. Not now, not ever. Okay, do you know what? Just stay there. Just stay there. I'm coming, okay? Just stay there, don't go anywhere. We really need to talk now. Mm. Okay, five minutes. Oh, this girl. <sighs> oh, that felt so good, Rough Rider. Really? Yes. There's something about your hands. I saw feather light. 
I feel it on my bone. It's not an aches all my pains away. And what? And uh, And what? Uh, enough. Enough. I think I've had enough massage for one day. Are you okay? Yeah. Linda, hi. Um, you've met my trainer, Rough Rider, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Rough Rider was just leaving. Okay. Hi. Yeah, I was just leaving. It wasn't time. Yes. So I guess I'll say goodbye to you later. Okay. Bye. All right. All right. Bye. something between you and that guy or is it my imagination stop talking no I just feel it's your dirty imagination that is running riot in your mind Linda it better be because I could have sworn that I felt some charge of electricity between you both the minute I worked in why do you keep happening on this issue it's like you really want there to be something going on between Rafa and I and it would just make you feel happy if I should just cheat on my husband. Is that right? What did you just say, Rose? You know, I don't believe you. Did you just say that to me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't even know when I said that to you. <sighs> like, I don't know what got over me. I think I'm on the edge and frustrated. Please forgive me, Linda, please. Well, it's all right. Now, let me shock you. I understand more than you think. Trust me. You do? Oh, yes, darling. I understand the reason for your edginess and frustration. Newsflash. You are attracted to that rough rider guy. And if you're not careful, it will harm you. You will end up not being happy. Rose. Obviously, someone is in a bad mood. I beg to take my leave. I'll see you around, girl. Linda, Linda, please. See you around, babes. Darling. Don't you think you've been on that computer long enough? Come to bed already. Yeah. I have to finish this report for a meeting tomorrow morning. Another meeting? That's what you've been doing for all day and for as long as I can remember, Daniel. Yeah. Um, the company is on the verge of a huge business deal that will bring in millions of naira in profit. Well, I'm happy for you. 
Yeah, thank you so much. I know you are. Okay, so tell me, um, how is your workout with Rough Rider coming along? It's coming on real good. Rough Rider. <laughs> he's a great guy. I mean, his hands are magic. You ought to let him give you a massage one day. Really? Okay, if you say so. Linda. Yes? I am in a serious fix and I don't know what to do. What about? Well, it's about Rough Rider, my coach. <laughs> the hunk. What about him? I'm thinking of firing him. Firing him? What has he done, if I may ask? I noticed our training section keeps becoming more and more erotic. Especially the massages. And I can't continue with him. <gasps> Good heavens. You see, I told you. I just knew it. I saw it coming. But you wouldn't listen. Um, but then, um, I'd like you to be more specific. Tell me what you meant when you said erotic. Linda, it's not funny. Okay. So? I noticed that Rough Rider leaves me more and more aroused after every training section. And Daniel is not even around to assuage the hunger in order for me not to do what I will regret. The best decision for me is to fire him. <laughs> so that he will not lead me into temptation. Or oh, probably throw caution into the wind and have fun with him. I mean, who's gonna tell him you? Linda, no. Don't suggest such atrocity. I love Daniel and I cannot cheat on him. Oh, uh, everyone knows that. But then, um, listen to this simple philosophy. If Daniel be performing his duties to you as a man in bed, why would you be attracted to some gym instructor? Correct me if I'm wrong. Linda, no. I don't want to see it that way. Daniel is just busy, that's all. Madam excuses. You keep making up excuses for that husband of yours. Now listen. There's every possibility that Daniel is getting it. I mean, getting it with some psychedelic bimbo in his office. Or probably he has lost interest in you sexually because of your weight gain. No disrespect meant. But then, girlfriend, you could just... I mean, it won't hurt anyone if you just go ahead and have fun, satisfy your sexual desire with your coach, even if it's just once. Oh. It may not hurt anybody, but it would hurt me. I can't do that. I have made my decision. Raw Feather has to go, and that's final. Whatever you say, babes. I mean, why am I even talking? It's your loss after all. Oh, good morning, Mr. Daniel. Hi, good morning, Rough Rider. Good to see you. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Um, my wife has given me good testimonies about you. I must say I'm really impressed. Well, I'm only doing my job, sir. <laughs> Rough Rider, go and wait for me at the gym. I'll join you shortly. Okay. Well, excuse me, sir. Sweetheart, 
How so friendly? Is anything the matter? No, not really. I was just thinking of firing him after today's workout. What? Why? But, but I thought you said he's doing a good job. Yes. So why do you want to fire him? Don't worry. I'll tell you everything when you come back home tonight, okay? Dressed up for workout. Yes. Actually, Rafaida, that is because I have decided to discontinue with our training. You mean you're firing me? Yes. I mean, I'm sorry, Rafaida. I don't think I can continue with this, considering. Considering what? Considering the fact that I can no longer remain objective. I mean, I cannot, may not be able to. To do what exactly? You're scared you may not be able to resist me? That you may not be able to resist the burning fire of attraction between you and I? I'm afraid I know, huh? please. No. No. Huh? I'm afraid I know.